All right, guys, we've got some absolutely crazy looking images coming out in terms of this Comet Atlas. If you look at this thing in the raw form, which is the top left here, this is from the Gemini North Telescope. So anyone can take this image and they can do the same thing. They can mess with the exposure and you can change the value in terms of all this stuff and, and mess with the exposure values and you can start to pull out what this thing looks like at the core. I mean, it is what it is. And you can see in all these different shots here, it's got this strange looking shape. The image on the right it's just the wildest thing I've ever seen yet coming through our solar system. And you can say it's just some strange shaped rock. Right? But others are like, no way. Like, this is crazy. Um, I, we've seen the backyard shots. We've, we've heard of all the crazy details. But the way that this thing looks thus far is just wild. And they say that it's going to be hiding behind the sun, right? Well, it's not forever. And let's just go take a look over here. This is October 29th. I've got it set up in the sky. So you can see it's well beyond the sun. Maybe some glare from Earth, but you should still be able to see it. And if it's going to brighten, it should be brighter than what it was before when it went behind the sun. And here's the crazy thing. Is when you fast forward this through Halloween and from Halloween into the first, we get from here right there into the first. We get in a, a bit of an alignment right here. At some point, uh, it's jumping again from, from day to day. But from our viewpoint on Earth there, looking up and seeing Venus, this is going to be like directly behind it. If this was a normal comet, like Swan, it had this long, beautiful tail that comes with the comet it would look pretty crazy a tail popping up out off of venus in the sky there's no doubt about it but this thing's missing the tail and it looks like what i just showed you wild and crazy looking and has the craziest features we've ever heard of in terms of an object that's come through our neck of the woods so it went through mars and they showed us some garbage stuff Apparently, it's all they got from the Mars orbiter. These uh, garbage images. People are getting way better from Earth. We, we've seen guys on YouTube with telescopes picking up crazy images. But this one here from their official, from their official Gemini North Telescope. Anyone can go and break it down. I'll leave links so you can go mess with the exposures and everything else. But... This is this alignment is something to watch. If you want to know where this thing's going to be, well, on Halloween into the first, hiding behind Venus is going to be Atlas. That's for real. I just showed you. It's going to be hiding behind Venus on Halloween, so to speak. And, and this thing looks crazier than anything ever. Now, Avi Loeb, which has made a lot of headlines for saying that this thing could be a mothership. And all this other stuff. He's saying that there's a 30 to 40% chance this object does not have a fully natural origin. Noting it's possibly a Trojan horse. A technological object masquerading as a comet. Now I will say this though. I, I'm trying to stick with the hard data throughout all this. Not a bunch of little green men coming. It could be anything at this point. But... With everything that we've seen thus far, they say it's moving so fast, it's not affected by the gravitational force of the sun, the, the pull of the sun, and neither was a Muamua. And it changed course and lifted off up out of here, a Muamua did, when it went by. People weren't looking at a Muamua like they are this thing now, the largest interstellar object, the fastest to ever be coming through here. And it raises the question, if it's not affected by the force of the sun, why is it coming down and around it? Okay, why is it coming down and around it? And Avi goes on to say this thing is going to, it should on the 29th break apart into pieces. If it's a comet, start shedding pieces or expose itself as being 
some kind of technological mothership, as he puts it. They could let loose probes and all this other stuff. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about this thing coming out on the other side of the sun and what it could be. Well, all I know is the hard data and what we can all set our telescopes on to see. This object is there. And again, this is what it's looking like at the heart of it per the official big telescopes that are putting out the images. Okay? So wild images, a precise date to watch now per Avi Loeb on whether you can say this thing's a comet or not. We're going to check back in to see if that's true or not when we get closer. And that alignment is going to be something to watch as well. Um, join me for the live streams where I dive into this further. If you got any images yourself, anything connected, let me know. Dabu7 at yahoo.com. And eyes to the skies, y'all.